strange. I always thought I'd wind up arresting you someday. If I ever decide to get caught, Aveline, you'll be the guard I let catch me. Let catch you? Decide to get caught didn't trip you up, though. <laughs> Good to know. I am glad to stand here day after day. It is... I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. It seems, however, that we have still heard nothing of Emile de Lancé. Emile was killed. Yet we have no body, no witness to a battle. Most curious. Regardless, your part in this is done. I'm pleased to have played a part in keeping the city safe. Wait. That's it? Pay us and send us on our way? Not a single thought given to the fact that you Templars brought all of this upon yourselves. Be very careful, mage. Your friendship with the Champion protects you only so much. You've gone too far, and you know it. Maybe if you never took Huon from his wife, she wouldn't be dead. Evelina could be alive. And with the children, she risked everything to save. There are maybes enough to fill half the graves in Kirkwall. I will not add more to the pile. Enough. I have not the patience to argue with you further. Champion, have you found any new wondrous materials? The anger from our mages is... Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts. As should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. You asked to see me. I did. Or I think I did, anyhow. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was... a great tragedy. Ah, uh, yes, it was. Sadly, Loghain still lives. Say, 
Weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait. Weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. I'm surprised you would even know who I am. I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Huh. Easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Do you really think there's something I can do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Protect Kirkwall from what, exactly? You ask me, the biggest threat to this city just walked out the door. But maybe that's the ex-Templar in me talking. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. It's not her place. Leaving? Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. Inform the criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know these numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. You need some assistance against traitors in your ranks. Traitors? Perhaps. Rebels? Certainly. I don't know if they seek congress with demons or merely a walk in the moonlight. All I know is that a meeting is happening tonight in Hightown. 
I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. I'll see what they're up to. There's no point in involving the Templars. Thank you. Your support has been a lifeline for me. For all of us. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not. Or Meredith will have what she...